I'm literally going 20 and 3. This is how you know the famous guns are good, man. So hello gamers, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you the most famous gun in every category in Phantom Forces. Let's go for a thousand likes on this video. People seem to really like these every single whatever in every category videos, and I thought I would make another one because yeah, the most toxic gun in every category has like 150k views or something insane. So thank you guys so much for that. If you could like, that would help so much. Yeah, for assault rifle, the most famous one has to be the M16A3 at this point. If you told me like a year and a half ago, Go, what's the most famous assault rifle in Phantom Force? I would probably tell you it's gotta be the HK416, right? Here's the thing, since 223 came out on this gun, everybody uses it, everybody like complains about it or just says, oh, it's it's totally the most broken gun in the entire game. Or says it has no recoil, everybody uses it for feeds. It's literally the best gun in the entire game for feeds, in my opinion, because 40 round mag, very little camera recoil, very fast reload time. It's such a good gun, dude. Not the best gun in the entire game or anything, but as you can see, it is just so good. Yeah, this gun is very famous because of all those things. It's also low rank, so basically everybody has it and uses it. It's probably, of like the guns that aren't starter guns, it might be the most famous and popular gun in the entire game. Like, you see this every two seconds in every single lobby. There's even somebody using it in the kill feed right now. So as you can tell, everybody uses this thing, man. That's why it's gotta be the most famous assault rifle. It definitely used to be the HK416 thing, it, it just goes, it goes absolutely crazy, and that's why it's so well known, is because it's just a jack of all trades, so it becomes great, like, there's really no downside to this gun, except maybe the damage with 223 isn't very good. For Battle Rifle, this has changed very recently, and now I gotta say it's the M14, which is kinda weird, it used to be maybe the AG3, maybe the FAL50, but now you gotta give it to the M14, because this gun is rank 2, so first off, it's a starter gun, basically, and second off, it is very, very strong. A lot of people have been complaining about it, because the DMR is rank 70 or something and this is rank 2 and they're basically the exact same model except you know one of them semi-auto and has 10 bullets and this has 20 shoots a lot faster but it's less damage and stuff but this gun is so strong i don't know i don't know if it's overpowered can't even tell dude it is very very strong and it makes it probably the best starter gun in the game right now i might still use like the mp5 k10 over it but this thing actually goes crazy like it outperforms like fouls shoots faster than them and does about the same damage actually insane how good this thing is I'm literally going 20 and 3. This is how you know the famous guns are good, man. Uh, let me just pick up the Groza one, which is definitely not a famous gun, but I don't want to end my streak, but I kind of got to get to the next gun, man. Okay, there we go. For Carbine, you already know what it is, man. Like, how can it be any other gun that's not the Honey Badger? Not only was this probably the most pre-bought gun for like three years, it was overrated, I'd say, but you know, since Kosaku Sight and Hollow Point is just such a low recoil setup, I'm not even using that setup. I'm using like Long Braille Stubby Grip and stuff. This is my old setup. I don't really use the setup that like Oscar popularized, but he got the first ever recorded 200 kill game. Not the first ever 200 kill game in general, but the first ever actually fully recorded one, which brought a lot of fame to this gun. The M16A3 is probably still more popular somehow, but this gun is not far behind. It's getting a little bit like lower because not as many people are talking about it, but still, every time I stream this game, I get asked at least a couple of times. Use the Oscar Honey Badger setup. I don't know why people want to see that setup. Like, it's so overused. I don't know. The gun is very famous though, and even without all the points, it's still a pretty decent gun. Now for shotgun, let's be honest, it's the E-gun. Just kidding, it's the AA-12. Listen, man, I'm doing the most famous gun in every category. It's gonna be pretty easy to predict which gun actually wins for every category. AA-12, objectively speaking, isn't really that good. Okay, but uh, can one tap and it has a 20 round mag and it's automatic. So basically people just say it's very little skill based and that's pretty true. It really just doesn't take any skill at all to use. I think it's been nerfed like four times. So it's a little bit more balanced than it used to be, but it used to be broken, but now it's just a little bit more balanced. Like it can only one tap in like very specific scenarios. It does a lot less damage. The spread is worse than it used to be. You can't have flechette anymore on it when you're using 20 round drum. It is a lot nerfed, which is pretty understandable. I mean, let's be real. This gun was not fair before. Just because it takes one brain cell to use, man. You just point at somebody and then they die. Now, for PDW, it's gonna go to none other than the Chris Vector. Most players are probably gonna know the most famous gun because everybody just uses it. Nice try, man. This gun used to be very, very good to the point of being pretty overpowered because it could five shot all ranges but had 1200 RPM. So it did assault rifle minimum damage, but it fired like double the speed of the AK 47 and it could three shot up close. Now it's a little bit more balanced. It does 35 to 17 instead of 35 to 20. And at one point it did 36 to 17 which would have been so good because that would have meant it could two shot to the head so yeah it also is still really good now it remains probably being like top five pdws in the game this is 
popular beyond like the PDW class. Like there are people who don't use any SMGs, but they use this one. You know, it's like, yes, the Colt SMG is probably better, but this thing is just so much more well known. In fact, a lot of people don't even think the Colt SMG is the best PDW in the game. I don't know what they think is, but DMR is an interesting class because a lot of people don't even realize it exists pretty much, or at least it feels like because nobody really uses them that much. But if you got to give it to one, I'd say it's the Mark 11. The reason I say the Mark 11 is because it is like rank three. So you see a lot of like aim botters using it, low ranks who don't know how to use it. I remember when I was a low rank, I was using it, which I don't know how, because I didn't even know how to click it fast or anything. Like how would I even be able to use this thing? It also has this huge reputation for being bad, but if you're an experienced player, you might know. It's actually arguably the best DMR in the game and one of the most consistent guns in the entire game. It is just so consistently good. It can two shot torso to like 110 studs and kill with one torso, one head, all ranges. So it can two shot all ranges pretty easily. Three shots anywhere in the body at any range. Has very high velocity. Pretty good RPM if you can click it fast. But it's very skill based because it has this weird feature where if you click too fast, it does that. It'll literally stop shooting uh, if you click it too fast. So that's why it's kind of annoying to use for a lot of people. But as you can see, this is the gun for quickly dispatching people at range. Like it is rank two, but I don't feel like it should be rank two. Like the SKS should be like the rank two. No, maybe it's rank three. I don't know. This should not be the low rank one because this actually takes some serious skill to be pretty good with, which I don't feel like low ranks should be like the high risk, high reward type guns. They should be the more consistent, but not amazing guns, like pretty good at everything instead of just great at one thing, but bad at everything else. But I guess overall, this is super consistent. So now for sniper rifle, it's actually the BFG. The M107 is very close behind. The M107 has been incredibly talked about and complained about in the past like two years, maybe. But the popularity of the BFG extends past just Phantom Forces. The BFG is like the staple of this gun at this point, pretty much. It might be the worst sniper in the game, but man, is it fun to use. You can't really hate on this gun anymore. I don't think it's really complained about anymore, but it's definitely the most famous. But like I said, the M107 is very close behind. You could almost make an argument for the M107 being more popular, but in my opinion, I'd say it's the BFG. Let me know in the comments which of them you think is the more popular one. Even in terms of use, I feel like the BFG might be more used. Like, I see the M107 from time to time, but I feel like I see the BFG way more often. Yeah, this thing does limb kill, and it's cool, but it's very, very slow. It's a fun gun, man. Ooh. Oh, I hit that. Wait, 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 wait. Let me get this reload on. All right, hello. I have my one bullet back. Where are you? I lost my one bullet. Last but not least, we have the LMG, which has got to go to the M60 even now. RPK-12 and HK-21 are kind of pretty popular now too. But if you didn't know this, actually until a couple of years ago, it used to be the best gun in the entire game. Fired faster than it does now. It did more CQC damage, more LRC damage, fired faster, and had lower recoil. So it was faster. It did more damage. It had lower recoil. It literally had like no recoil. Like you could use it with a VCOG 6X at the time and it would still work. This gun was actually so bad. Busted. Now it's not quite as good. Actually, it's nowhere near as good. It's not really even a good gun anymore. Definitely solid, but HK21 does more damage, shoots faster. It's some. Pretty annoying to use. It actually had better ranges too, so it could three hit kill farther. It could four hit kill anywhere in the body, all ranges. Now it can't even do that. For a pistol, it's probably a tie between the L5 and the XIN. The L5 was like the most popular pistol, except for maybe the M45A1. The L5 was the most popular pistol for like a very long time. Everybody was using it, but the XIX now kind of just blows it out of the water because everyone's using the XIX or the Executioner, but we'll get to that one later. This is my weird setup of Police Barrel 357 and like the stock and Coyote Sight. Definitely not the best setup on this gun, but it's a cool setup. I really like this one because uh, it just spams. It's like a completely new version of the gun. It has no recoil at all. But yeah, the L5 used to be called the Deagle 44, and it used to be the only Deagle in the game. And then they actually added the XIX, and the XIX kind of just destroyed it. Uh, in terms of popularity. Also, honorable mention to the Boxy Buster, which was very, very popular for like two days and then everybody kind of forgot it existed. But for machine pistol, we have the Tech 9. The Tech 9 is nerfed into Oblivion now because it does like 24 maximum damage. It's still pretty solid. I mean, it shoots really, really fast, but it definitely is the most popular. Everybody complains about it. It's like the panic secondary of people who probably need to go outside or just use the BFG. I see this a lot paired with the BFG. The funny thing is, the 93R is better, but this gun is still really funny because it shoots so fast. It's actually tied for fastest firing automatic gun in the entire game. That's funny. And also, why did they add an extended mag? I forgot this has so many bullets with an extended mag. Yeah, it has like one reserve ammo, but that's not the point. The point is not the reserve ammo of your secondary. The point is how effective it is for that one kill that you use your secondary for. Most people are not going to run this as a primary. Let's just uh, end this man's whole career. For revolver, you got to give it to the Executioner. With an honorable mention to MP412 Rex and Red Hawk, I guess. The Executioner was added. Everybody thought it was great. And then they realized the XIX was actually just better in every way. And then probably about a year ago, they buffed the torso kill range. 
branch of the Executioner, making it not necessarily better than the Deagle, but oh my. It torso kills very far, like 55 studs, as opposed to like 40 from the XIX. It actually has like the slowest fire rate of the revolvers, excluding the 1858, which if you fan fire it, it shoots really fast anyways. And it also has the slowest walk speed default of any secondary in the game. Yes, slower than like the SFG and stuff. I don't know how it does. I guess it's just a really heavy revolver. This gun has been talked to death, but it's got to be the most famous revolver. I only have 42 kills on it, which is funny considering on the XIX, I have over 2,200. So I'm not a very big fan of the Executioner, but the XIX is like my main secondary usually. And it's just very good. It just performs well. For other, we have my highest kill other of over a thousand kills, the SFG 50. Listen, man. I did not use this as a sniper when I was actually using this. First off, it was like two and a half years ago or something. Second off, the only reason I would use it was for that because it's funny to quick scope. I didn't even trick shot with it. I just liked walking around and one tapping people with it. And it's just fun. Like, look at this, dude. Because in CQC, it's pretty much just a BFG that walks faster. It can actually limb kill to the exact same range, except BFG has a long barrel and then it can't limb kill to that range. But it also torso kills to 210 studs. But if you use it within 210 studs, it's basically a BFG. It's also worth mentioning that this does have choke and have less muzzle velocity than the BFG, but uh, just use it in CQC and then it really doesn't matter. The choke isn't a huge deal and the muzzle velocity is still 2000, which is not, it's not going to make a big deal up close, but also what is this map like on 10 graphics? What is going on with these guys' hoods? Look at this. Okay, get real. Yeah, you need to get real faster next time, dude. It's so satisfying to kill people with it. And as you can see, like, the choke makes it so you just can't even hit things at range. But it's very, very fun for CQC. Uh, should you pre buy it or anything, I don't really recommend it. People get mad at you. Another thing I like about it is that the name for it is SFG50, no capitals. It's all lowercase, which looks very, very funny in the kill feed and stuff. I'll show you right when I get a kill, which is going to be right now. Look at that in the kill feed. That's pretty cool. It looks pretty awkward and funny. Also, shooting at walls with this is really fun because it has the same penetration as the BFG, which in my opinion is kind of broken. Anyways, gamers, that is the most famous gun in every single category in Phantom Forces. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and sub, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.